So for today, we're going to be looking at 801. We're going to be looking at 801 and ever reversing in that order. We're not going to be looking at challenges because if you guys don't know, challenges usually goes away after week 10. We're already in week 14 or 15. I don't even remember at this point. So that is why we're not looking at challenges. But before we look at 801, we're actually going to be looking at the fit for the video because I am tired of people asking me what my fit is. And for this one, we're going to be utilizing the new Guardian Games cloak just because I think it looks really cool. That being said, don't worry, we will have the usual spiel when a new armor set comes out, which is the new armor video review, the shader video, and then the class specific videos as well. I'm going to be doing that this week, and then we're going to be going back into some of the other content that we were doing. I still have to finish the tier list. I only have two more to go, which is the season pass one and then the iron banner one. So we're going to have those two up, and then I'm going to start doing a little bit more of the things that I wanted to do specifically, we're gonna be going through all of my loadouts that I have in game and going through all of the fashion and some of the builds that I have for it and explaining why I have it there. I'm gonna do that for all the classes and then the tactical videos as well. I'm gonna be making it in a different way than the last ones because the last ones, my old ones, I would just show you three guardians with one set and then just call it a day. This one, I have four sets for you guys and I will be looking at making four videos. The main one is going to be looking at all of the tactical sets in game that you can use for a tactical set and ones that I will be utilizing. And then from there, give you the class specific ones as well. So that's how I'm going to do it. Just because if I do it for each class, I'm still like on the fence on it, because if I do it per class, then it's going to be a lot longer because it's going to be a chunk of that is going to be explaining like some of the armor sets that you can be using and then the example sets. So I'm still up on the fence on that. Let me know what you guys think. Would you guys prefer a separate video explaining all of the tactical sets for all the classes or would you like me to do it in the class specific videos? Let me know. But other than that, let's look at 801. So I'm going to be looking at Gold Leaf. I definitely would recommend Gold Leaf. This is from Season of Opulence, which is pretty old by now. And yeah, it's a pretty good green and gold. I like the green a lot. The texture is pretty cool. That being said, I'm not a fan of green and gold as a combo. We have Tangled Rust, which if this is the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, this is the one I'm thinking about. You definitely should get this one. It's really good to make your armor set look like really like fucked up and like used. That's why I like the shader a lot, just because it makes it the armor look like you have used it and not like it's just brand new, which is one of my pet peeves about shaders. And then we have Dead Orbit Camo, which is this is the one that has the actual black and gray camo on armor. I definitely would recommend this if you're trying to go for a tactical look. I always forget the shader exists, so I need to remind myself to have this one. Actually, I might favorite favorite this shader later just because, again, I go for a lot of tactical sets and this one would be really good for that. And then for the armor sets all right here, I'm not going to talk about it just because I'm not a fan of a lot of it. That being said, I think this is the one with that has that has like the Mongolian looking Titan armor. Let me check real quick. And no, it's not the tag. OK, it's not the Mongolian looking armor. Uh, fuck it. We'll do it. So the helmet, I'm not the biggest fan. I actually no, I'm not the biggest fan of the helmet nor the arms. I think the chest piece is the best piece from this whole set. I don't like the boots as well. And the mark or the cloak is not the best either. Titans, I think the helmet's pretty interesting. I think the arms can be utilized. I think the chest piece is too small. I think the boots are whatever's and definitely don't like the mark. Warlocks, I think I think the bond's the only good piece from this. I think the arms you can definitely use. The helmet's pretty trash. The chest piece is pretty trash and the boots are pretty trash. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801. Definitely pick up some of these shaders at least. Also, remember that we got some new bounties. They refreshed our bounties for this season. So we have 10 more, which means if you've done all of these, you should have gotten 20 this season, which is pretty cool. I unfortunately didn't finish it for my Warlocks or Titans, but I at least completed like at least five. So I, got, I at least got 15 this season. But yeah, let's actually look at Air reverse real quick. We're not going to be looking at the Guardian game stuff because I already made that video. Hopefully I'll have that either after this or before this. We'll see. But <clears throat> we have photo finish. Oh my God, I need to make a video about this by itself because I know people are going to be going wild for it. Let me let me do something real quick so you guys can really, really see what I mean when I talk about that. Um, fuck it, we'll do this armor, like all of it, all of it, just to really showcase it. Because again, I know some people are going to be cr going crazy for this. Um, let me change this just to this. <coughs> 
um arms and then yeah fuck it so the reason i am using all of this armor set is to really showcase what i mean so let's go to the shader so photo finish is a really good shader if you want to have a glow that has different colors which is like the whole reason to this sh shader my biggest gripe about this shader is the fact that the cloth is absolutely terrible it looks like it looks like it's been used like a lot and it looks sweaty crisp like crusty gross like it looks like if i touch it it you'll hear like <coughs> like crunch like it's gross that's the only reason why i don't like this shader um we go back to an actual armor armor set that i like let's go with okay we'll go with you <coughs> did it change my armor yeah it did okay um just because i don't want to have an whole, whole armor set verdant crown okay okay so this is from oof, this is oh, what's it, i don't even i don't even remember the event because the event this is uh this is the event that got replaced by guardian games but that's pretty cool i do wish they sold the armor because i know some people still want that armor set but it's really cool green and gold i don't think go together that well personally not looking at that sponsored shell i definitely think this shell looks cool i just wouldn't buy it ever um oh wait forgot this just jiggling juggling jiggling i really don't care let's go down we have triumphant which is literally just a shader change a worse one in my opinion uh shadow box parabellum four <coughs> <clears throat> classy shell i definitely think this is the coolest ghost they've made just because you see all the classes like animals represented really well um let's hear some or let's hear some noise and then represent and then reflections effect or reflection effects i should say uh cherry blossom entrance spring breeze and then for the shaders up for grabs this is not the good one the good one is the one that turns everything white and blue that's such a good shader i think this might be it maybe we'll check after we're done with this video grayscale undergrowth the more i see the shade the more i like it um it is not the case for this this armor set it's not that good for this one uh, reef made I have no opinion about this shader and then rivalry black sand which also have no opinion about this one so that is pretty much it for the video let me know what you guys think will uh funnily enough all the things that I wanted to explain in the, in the end of the video I explained in the beginning I do apologize for that I usually don't do that I usually do it at the end so that way people don't have to have to hear me rant because I know people don't like that um oh <clears throat> what is the good shader from from guarding rivalry resolute that's the shader you want because it look at this tell me this doesn't look cool bro so yeah i pretty much have a few things planned uh the things that i told you about in the beginning uh i've had a few people tell me to like kind of like switch content which is really weird but i will do it one of them said to do warframe which is completely fine considering that's what i was planning to do soon um 14 okay so this is crazy considering final fantasy 14 i've been playing a lot more just because the new event has a really cool mount it's a fucking car and it's super dope <clears throat> might as well go to eva while we're talking um yeah i really enjoyed that and i'm really excited for just more stuff in the in the future like now that i feel the shackles of destiny 2 like loosening a lot i'm gonna start to do a lot more things for the channel i know i said that for final fantasy 14 but i genuinely mean it now just because again like i said i don't wanna i love this game let me just say that real quick i love destiny 2 it's one of my favorite games obviously i put like how many hours in this game let me see real quick um almost eight thousand hours and this is not even including like the playstation 4 um yeah, it's not including the PlayStation 4 time, nor is it including the uh, when it was under uh, Activision. So 
that's a lot of hours for a game that I really, really like. Even though I talk shit about it, even though I critique it a lot, it's because I, I really genuinely enjoyed this game. That being said, I don't want to die with this game. Um, I like video games. I've been playing games since I was a kid. So like me doing other stuff just kind of makes more sense to me in my head. So that is why. <clears throat> that is sorry. I was reading something that one of my friends said because Again, Helldivers is what they've been playing. I like Helldivers, but I just, oh man, that video is going to be rough because I know people are going to, I'm going to ruffle some jimmies with that video because I'm not the biggest fan of co-op games unless the game itself is fun by myself. But even then some people are going to be like, well, that's what's the point of playing a co-op game by yourself? I don't have a lot of friends, man. I'm going to be real with you. So let me, let me again, let me know what you guys think. I do not want to do Guardian games, bro. <laughs> I really do not want to do Guardian games. <laughs> like... Even this gun, like, compressed wave frame. Really? Interesting. I don't, I, I don't really care still. Like, it's funny too, considering this is using the weapon, like, weapon uh, model that back in, like, Forsaken, we saw everyone in their mom saw. You should see the memes from Forsaken. You will see this gun a lot. But... Yeah, I really appreciate you guys. That's all I really wanted to say. I appreciate you guys because this con this this channel would be nothing without you guys. Let me know what you guys would like to see me do other than Destiny 2. Would you guys like me to see other games? I'm very much open to it. We would not only that, I'm thinking about starting to stream again so that way I can actually post like my stream content on this channel or make a VOD channel. Either way, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.